on here. Okay, well, I couldn't find a better way, so I put the, ended up with the legs on the tripod the same way I had them. Uh, I'm using the one on the tripod simply because the other one's full. I um, don't have any place to put this stuff. I'm trying to wait for it to all upload to Google Photos, and then I'm trying to get this thing back, this thing with the new operating system on the 30 gig hard drive, this AS Rock, so that then I can delete all the old Windows stuff from the if you get to get a gigabyte hard drive, I, I don't think that, well, I know that's not going to be enough. These are both 64 gigabyte SD cards, and they're both just about full, so <laughs> that's not going to solve my problem, is it? Because I got 20 gig on there, and I gained, say, 20, so I'll have about 40 gig, and I've got 120 gigs worth of videos. Uh-oh. Somebody's going to have to be buying a new hard drive or deleting videos, one or the other. All right. Well, uh... I just been putting it off. I don't know. What, I knew. I really knew, but anyway, reality setting in. Windows install menu. Um. So here we go. Get into the Windows 7 install menu here. And Windows 7 Professional. Oh, and then OEM Professional. 64 professional home premium 64 and home premium 86 86 this time I did not run make files contiguous because the win contig application when because I believe that's what's been causing me all my trouble and uh, corrupting these files because they're fine you know um, before I copy them and copying them really shouldn't and this time I checked this one right here to make sure it wasn't corrupted after copying it and uh, over to the SD card. So uh, I use K3B uh, CD DVD burning app to it always automatically runs the MD5 checksum. So uh, and it showed to be good. So it didn't fail that test. So that's kind of a quick, easy way to do that. Uh, <coughs> best thing I could think of all with the apps I have. So let's boot this up. Now, it asked me what I want to do, so I know I've figured out our, by all these different times of trying, I know what I want. I want zero. It says use easy to boot XML file default. Now, let's see what happens here. Well, finally, 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 after what seemed like a year of trouble, it is booting up. I saw it boot up one time before. Maybe that's because I had forgot to run the make. Uh, win contig on it. That's what made me just not believe it wasn't going to work. Now, will we get that error saying, uh, you know, drivers missing? All that stuff, I guess we're fixing to find out. So, It's doing that. Let me see if I can <coughs> cough and reposition, do something to make this better. Oh, there it is. The blue um, the famous blue uh, terminal window. Now, let's see what it says. Now that I've got my <coughs> got my help, self holding something up in a I think it's asking me what to do, but I've got to. I'm about to cough again. Hang on. <coughs> you think getting a drink would help, but doesn't always help <clears throat> okay so found USB drive at drive G IMG disk driver installed successfully looking for G oh that's the driver it wanted okay looking for G Windows ISO 17 home premium 64 mounting ISO creating device creating device G window. Okay, so it put it on a, made it, mounted it, and made a G drive for it. <coughs> Windows 7. 
found why I source install them. It says repairs. Dart rep execute found. Oh, okay. Recovery environment. Re, R E C E and V execute found. Oh, okay. Now then, S repair window start repair. R recover window start repair system resource system image recovery and MO memory test. Okay, command prompt. N install windows setup. Okay. Press enter or N to install windows. Okay. <coughs> I was holding with both hands. I had to. Okay, now. I'll tell you what, a metal tripod with just a f little phone gets heavy. I'm trying to get a way to do this without moving so much. Okay, language English. That's even worse, isn't it? Language English, same thing. I can see it perfectly in my phone. That puts it exactly in my eye shot. I'm trying to look around it there. Uh, but I can't read it because it's too little. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go forward because it's the only way I'm gonna know. Oh. This ISO has home basic, home premium, professional, and ultimate. Really? Uh, what was it I was installing? Premium. Right? Right. Okay, home premium. I should know by now as many times as I've looked at all this. I think I'm going to get myself stuck in the middle of an uh, install. And it's getting late and I want to quit. But I can't resist. Let's, get, let's just do something here. I think it's already gone past that point of the errors I had before. Yeah, well, I'm sure it has. Okay. Now, <coughs> terms. You can go down through there and see all that. I accept. I'd like to... Okay, now, where do you want to stall it? Drive options advanced. Now this is where the last time I installed from, uh, actually on this system probably, I ended up having to go in here and uh, set up. It has to make us at least like a 200 or 500 megabyte partition for boot files and then the rest can be used for your operating system. It doesn't have to have a big one like you usually get with uh, OEM systems, yeah. <coughs> so, um, I'm going to just click on, I can't remember if I need to go into advanced options or what, but uh, let me click on it right quick. Delete, format, new, extend. Okay, I'm going to leave it like that uh, and just see if it does it for me. I can't remember. It might tell me what to do. Okay. I think I have to use that formatter. Let's see. It's all the information you need. Your computer will start several times. Now that would be very, very bad if it erased all my videos that are backed up on there. They are all on uh, Google Photos, but didn't ask me, didn't say anything about the other driver or anything, so it's making me think. Didn't just assume that I wanted to use both drives, did it? Because I clicked on the 28 gigabyte drive. But it didn't confirm, it didn't say, what about this, what about that? Just get yourself distracted with this making videos and stuff, and you start uh, going, oh crap, what did I just do? <coughs> but it's already... Uh, already passed and collecting information and into the installing windows it's probably doing the let's see copying windows files expanding installing didn't say anything about formatting yet and it should have I don't remember all the details but I remember 
I had to go back and try several times because it didn't do it automatically. Was what, um, of course, it might have been because I tried to pre-format it. I think maybe I had tried to uh, pre-format it. Thank you, phone. i got to figure out how to turn that off. It's got to uh, set to make that noise every time it gets an email. And I never have bothered to try to figure out how to turn it off. But the, and it's always, well, I'm always turning the volume up all the way when I play back one of my videos because the mic doesn't pick up very loud, uh, even with me up really close. So, uh, you know, and then I will forget and leave it there. And, uh, uh <coughs> just didn't get that loud noise. Sometimes I have them plugged in charging or something when I'm watching TV and it does that and bugs the heck out of me. But I'm too busy trying to solve the mystery of how easy to boot works. How to make easy to boot easy. I don't think it's easy. I think it's pretty hard and complicated. It's easy to boot once you get it all set up, but shoot. Okay, so this is going to take a while. It's going pretty good. But I think I'm already headlong into the installation. And as long as it didn't uh, decide to use both drives on me or something like that, which now I'm not going to know until it gets further on in, like probably finished. I really thought that it would uh, say, okay, is this, uh, is this the drive you're going to use? Sure, this is how you want to do it. You know, nor the normal way. Uh, at least the normal way that Linux does it. Um, So, and I'm so I'm really surprised that I didn't get anything stopping saying, "Wait, you got to do this, you got to do that," because that's what usually happens. But like I said, maybe I had pre. I thought I'd done it both ways you know, because I've done three so Windows Seven systems in the last so oh, three years or so. I don't don't mess with Windows a lot, like I'm always saying, but. Um, uh, I think one time I thought, okay, I need to, I need that, you know, the last time, really, I think I finally said, okay, I need that, uh, you know, system partition and my other partition. So I thought, I'm making it the sizes I wanted. So I made two of them, you know, and then I think it turned around and said, no, you got to have this and that on there to make it boot. And do you want to, you know, anyway, I had to go back and I used that partitioning tool where I clicked on advanced, there's a, there's a partitioning tool in there and I used that. And I would expect that I've tried it at least once with a blank drive. That's what this, see, this drive, this 30 uh, gigabyte hard drive was, I, I just deleted all partitions on it, left it blank. Because usually that is the easiest, and that must be what happened that uh, made it just go straight on into the install. So, uh, <coughs> yeah, if I back up a little bit, you can see the whole screen. You got collecting information down at the bottom. Uh, installing Windows. There's kind of a divider there by where the 2 is, and then you can see that too. And so it's on up. It says it's 63%, but the bar's only about a quarter of the way down the way. Of course, that doesn't necessarily mean anything. But, uh, well, and it's expanding Windows files. It's got installing features, installing updates, and completing installation. But it said it's going to reboot several times too, so. When it reboots, I have to go back and what will I have to do? It's not going to be normal like in a CD. Probably have to go back in. I have to do all that stuff to get it to boot back into easy to boot again. Uh, so really, other than having the convenience of carrying a small SD card, you know, around with you instead of a CD. I think the install would really go easier using the or a DVD using the DVD because you just leave it in there boots back up to it again you know finally at the end it says uh, okay take it out now I'm going through your new system so that's really easier kinda kept having a feeling maybe I should burn it to a DVD but I was stubborn and pig-headed and I wanted to make it work so looky here it's working for all the glory it is here <laughs> it's working Unless it gets the way on down to towards the end and gets a big bad error. We'll see. 
Okay, I'm going to stop this video because uh, it obviously has a while to go. And uh, you, this is not a good way to make a full, you know, holding this camera and it moving all the time is not a good way to make a long video anyway, for sure. So if you wanted to watch, there's plenty of great how to install Windows videos on the Internet, I'm sure. So uh, anyway, uh, this is done. I'll come back later. A little progress reports here and there. All right, bye.